practicing Islamic values of life in Western society can prove difficult, especially for the youth where one must balance their duties towards Allah the Almighty and service to mankind, while integrating themselves within Western culture. Furthermore, service, sacrifice, and commitment to one's country and faith are tenets of the Ahmadiyya Muslim youth set out by Hazrat Mirza Bashiruddin Mahmud Ahmad, may Allah be pleased with him, the second caliph of the worldwide Ahmadiyya community at the organization's inception. In a practical sense, the Ahmadiyya Muslim youth of Australia exemplify this, as they have made it an annual habit to participate in Clean Up Australia Day. The idea of cleaning up parks, roads and waterways has become Australia's largest community-based event, taking place in the first week of March. For the past six years, by the grace of Allah, the Ahmadiyya Muslim Youth Australia have taken up the top spots nationally for participation and money raised. With hopes to continue with this achievement, on the 5th of March 2023, Clean Up Australia Day took place once again. 19 sites across the country were cleaned by over 450 khudam, alongside donations being made by members. So the, the processing, I will just start with the planning process. Uh, this process starts around two months ago. We registered 20 plus sites across Australia. And this event is uh, attended by, it's predominantly driven by Khudam al but our other Jamaat members are welcomed onto this event as well. So far, I have a report for half of the sites and Alhamdulillah, we have more than 250 participants which have, uh, which have attended this event. We're expecting this number to be more than 500 by the end of the day. Uh, most of the activities are done in the morning. However, there are a few sites which are going to be where we are expecting the work to be done in the sure. evening. So as a Muslim, as all of us know that cleanliness is half of our faith. Uh, that's where our values very much resonates with the concept or ideology between the Clean Up Australia Day. Uh, this is an opportunity for our khudam and volunteers to work with the local Australians let them know about our values, let them know to, uh, how important the cleanliness is for us. And that's the reason why Khudam al was initially involved in this activity. And mashallah, now there are hundreds of volunteers who work across their local uh, neighbors to clean the parks and the cities and, and the roads across the country. Yes, uh, I have been coming along to clean up day events and uh, have organised them in the past. Uh, but, but at the moment, if there is a, an organised event, I'll usually try and come along to this one. And I know you guys have been doing a local one for many years, so I thought I'd come along to help. Yeah, so it's exceptionally important. Um, there, there, there should hopefully be a little bit less rubbish as less plastics being used and there should be more, hopefully, paper products. Uh, but it's incredibly important to to keep the area clean um, and it's good having one day where that's the focus. This is a, an important uh, thing that we see uh, every member should be contributing to as it's uh, one a, a part of faith to look after one's nation and also it's part of faith to be clean. So in a sense we are killing two birds with one stone. And, uh, uh, well, I'm less, uh, great to see so many um, members willing to put their part into t uh, acting upon these instructions by our holy, the holy leader, Prophet Muhammad May Allah the Almighty continue to grant us the strength to sacrifice for the betterment of our country. MTA International, Australia Studios.